Hey everyone, it's Fitz with a Game Day Daily Delivery. When they make the game kick off at 9.30 p.m. Central, that's 10.30 for the folks in the East Coast. Did you know that? It's 8.30 in, in Provo. It's 8.30 kickoff local time. I'm going to do a DD because you've got all day to kill. And why not kill a full four minutes with me? I'm generous, aren't I? But this one, I'm glad to make. First, a reminder, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up, and leave those comments. Thank you very much. Keep feeding that algorithm. Tell your friends to join the, the YouTube channel. Threaten them. Get mean. Okay, do whatever you need to do. Hey, uh, I've been looking forward to this trip. And as you watch this, I'm either soon on my way or literally on my way or in Provo with Ryan Gilbert as we cover Kansas State's first game in the new Big 12 at one of the new venues. There were none last year. And a couple teams came in, but Kansas State didn't visit any. So this is the first of the eight new schools K-State football is visiting. And I've been really excited about this one. I've been wanting Provo as soon as possible. I remember the Big 12 was formed and I was just fired up to go see Texas A&M and all the grandeur of, of what they do on game day and the 12th man and the swaying and, and how passionate those fans are. And then I saw the Yell leaders and it didn't seem as cool anymore. I kind of thought that this group is kind of weird. I should have got a tip on the first trip to Texas A&M to cover a Big 12 football game. We were driving back to our hotel that apparently was outside of town. My booking agent uh, did a horrible job. But we pull off onto the access road and we're driving to the hotel and there's a streaker running right down the middle of the road, uh, butt naked. That was my first experience with, with College Station. Now look, the venue, the atmosphere is incredible. But eventually you start to think, these people are odd. I'm so excited because not only is BYU an incredible setting, I'm going to say it. I'm sorry. It's better than College Station. It's going to be beautiful when we're there, but the people are beautiful. Every BYU fan I have interacted with, whether it's on a social media app or in person, because I know uh, some people that are members of the church, they're wonderful. They're kind. They worry about you. They're compassionate. And they're BYU fans without feeling as if they need to tread on your fanship, which is kind of an instinctive reaction of all fan bases. Oh, I'm a fan of this school. You're a fan of that school. That school sucks. Just because they're a fan of BYU doesn't mean they can't appreciate what has happened at Kansas State. One of the things that people don't know about BYU is they essentially have the Longhorn Network. It's just called B BYU TV or something. And they just did an incredible, incredible feature on Bill Snyder. You have to go find that. And having that kind of extra oomph in your media package is kind of cool. The Latter-day Saint crowd is large and involved with BYU sports and thus involved with the Big 12. So right now, hopefully I'm on a scenic drive up towards Park City or somewhere else because I'm going to take in some views and I'll have plenty of time to kill. Kickoff is 9.30 tonight, Central Time. Make sure you take a little caffeine, take a little nap, and get ready for the cats and cougars. It's going to be fun. It's a whiteout, and they've got special pastries for this game. You couldn't give me more reasons to love this. They're going to give me pastries and, I think, ice cream. Because there's one thing you need to know about members of the media, the sports media in particular. You want us to show up, you got to put us in front of food. you got to give us food. You do. We're like bears. And then eventually... Uh, when the food isn't good enough, we'll turn on you. That's the sports media. I'm looking forward to the uh, what, Cougar Claw. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. And uh, I, I hope I get ice cream. But anyhow, uh, BYU, I'm coming. I'm coming. And I can't wait to be there.